All right, we're going to call it good news. Nothing but good news in the forecast as we head through the next few days. Sure, we're hot today and we do have heat advisories in place, but seasonal temps make their way back in and we do have a bit of a dry week ahead. Now, when it comes to those heat advisories, those last through about 11 p.m. And it's basically the area shaded in orange, but that doesn't mean we are not hot over in parts of eastern Washington and north Idaho that are not under one of those heat advisories. Now, down in Lewiston, how about that one for you? Up, knocking on the door of 100 degrees right now. 99 in Othello, 97 in Moses Lake, 96 in Grand Coulee, and 94 in Omac. Spokane, Roddy, up to 91 and 92 over in Coeur d'Alene. It is hot. This is the first time we've hit 90 so far this year. And remember less than a week ago, we were all rooting for our first 80 degree high. How wild is that? That was Wednesday when we hit that. Normal first 90 degree day it is actually early last week, June 20th, if you average out the last 30 years. 2022, well, that was today, June 27th. So we're about a week behind in terms of 90 degree weather, but everything's been rather cool thus far. And to just remind you of where we've been, how about 2021 for you? Last year, we had 102 and then up from there as we worked our way through the rest of the week. 109 that we hit on June 29th was the hottest ever recorded temperature here in Spokane. So not near as hot as last year in the next few days offer a little reprieve. But keep in mind that our sun is up for almost 16 hours still. We're only losing seconds of daylight every day. So all that sunshine and that lack of cloud cover is allowing things to heat up quite rapidly. We're actually going to get rid of a little of the cloud cover that's been off to the north as we move through the rest of the day. But keep in mind, as that happens, we do get a little bit of moisture. We have the chance to see a couple of isolated thunderstorms overnight in north central Washington. The rest of us don't really get in on that. In fact, they move out with little to do. By the time we get into the day on Wednesday, a couple of pop up scattered showers make their way into the forecast. We could see a couple of those move through parts of the inland northwest, but for us here in Spokane, it is dry all week long. No real notice of that, but it is going to be breezy tomorrow in 83, 76 Wednesday. And then as we move into the weekend, it looks like another hot one. Sunday, Monday, isolated showers. I would not call it a wash yet. We'll keep a close eye on those days as they near.